This is a video on setting up the MZ-12 with the NASA light. Right here I have a GR-16 receiver and that is going to be hooked up straight in. It's going to go from channel 1 to channel 1, you know, the aileron, uh, what is it, uh, whatever that is. So like channel 1 goes into A, channel 2 goes into E, channel 3 goes into uh, T, and so on. And you'll do that all across except for, chan let me see if I can pull this out. Okay, on, and channel 5 goes to U, and what I did with channel 6 was I put it, I skipped X1 and I put it on X2. That's so you can control that intelligent, there's a thing called intelligent control on the NASA light. Uh, I don't know 100% what that exactly that does, but figured it'd be nice to have a switch set up on that. Okay, so, uh, and you could probably set it to either channel 6 to either um, 1, X1 or X2, uh, I chose X2, and then um, you'll hook the NASA light up according to the rest of its instructions. Now we're going to turn on the radio, I'm going to show you these settings. And I can tell you it was a nightmare trying to get this radio set up, but the main problem was I didn't have the wires, um, the wires hooked up. The main problem was I didn't have the wires hooked up correctly. Okay, when that starts blinking like that, that means you can hook the USB up to it. We got a solid green. And we can come up here and turn the Nazolite software on. Okay, cancel. Now the first thing I did in here was let's see. I'm gonna go to basic. Make sure you're hooked on the uh, right um, mix, you know, your right configuration here. We'll go RC mounting. Okay. So up here is your traditional hookup. On the MZ12, I tried to hook it up PPM. I got all these sticks working, but I couldn't get my three-way position switch working, so I had to go back to the traditional way. Um, and then the traditional way worked like a champ once I got the wires set up right. Um, if you follow the um, directions on the Nazolite, it's a little confusing because it, because you know the MZ12 is in T A E R mode, and um, they show you it, their directions on the NASA light directions kind of show you to wire it differently than rather than straight in. But you're going to wire it straight in, and then uh, so you can see here my three position switch. It took me a week to get it to do this one whole week of stress now on here I think I'm going to switch it right now from manual mode to attitude still decide now I'll probably just leave it on manual mode <clears throat> and then uh, my other switch which one do I got set up there this switch controls that Okay, and you can go ahead and click on, and then if we go over to advance here, put your motor there, we'll go to this IOC, and if you see here my X2 switch, puts it on home lock, and they suggest that you use a three race switch, so I haven't, I'll have to see what this does, uh, hopefully it won't crash or anything, <laughs> but we'll see what it does. All right, so let's get into the radio because this is the most important part. Make sure you can see this. Okay, on the radio, you're going to go to your servo settings. And it's probably best if you start with a... Um, sorry, let me get you... Oh no. It's probably best if you go into servo settings
and pay attention to these. Um, I think from channels one to four is correct, but down here on five and six, I had to reverse those. So those are my settings, and that's um, this channel five is for the three way switch. Channel 6 is for the other two-way switch above the three-way switch. Uh, that's S1 on the uh, on the radio here. So we'll get out of this. we we'll come over here to control settings. We'll hit that. When you set this up, you'll hit your three-way switch, which is control 1. And that'll be on your I5 here. You can use those settings. Uh, on I6 is the two-way switch, which is S1, uh, and those are those settings for that. Okay, we'll get out of that. We'll come down here to the free mix. The free mix is very confusing to me, but this is the way I got it set up. Um, after I got the three-way switch moved on, I didn't have to do anything else in here. I, uh, y you know, you m might want to. Just copy those settings there, but I might be able to even turn that mix off and not even have to use that. I'm not 100% sure, so you might need to use a free mix. I'd just go ahead and do that because that's the way I got it set up and it's working. So uh, you can try to figure that stuff out. But uh, to change these um, these uh, settings is really confusing. Like that changes both of them at the same time. Get out of it. You go down here to AFY, then you can do one at a time, and if you switch the switch, then you can change either one. Okay, and now we'll just uh, get out of here. Oh, and the fail safe. Yeah, the fail safe is really important too. So the fail safe, um, get over here. That's my fail safe. It's on channel 5. Um, when you set this up, you will. I didn't have to put my sticks in any position. Some of the guys tell you to put your sticks in positions. Um, I tried different things. I guess you could. I'm pretty sure, let's say if I was. The way I got the fail safe set up now, if I was using like the Nazi 32, and if I was just using the radio fail safe, if if I lost signal, it'll just drop straight down out. Of, uh, let's see, no, it won't drop straight down out of the sky. It will hold position, so it'll fly away. But the way I got it set up now, instead of the radio doing the fail safe, it's actually going to be the controller does the fail safe, which is what you want. So if you're coming from a Nazi 32 and you're going to a NASA it's different because uh, for one let's unplug this let's get out of here I'm going to show you on, on the sticks you gotta center it like this and then you're gonna either do it this way you can do it this way Wait. you can do this, both sticks this way both sticks this way that way, you can split them down, or bring them in, and that's going to start it. So, um, let me start it for you. Okay. So, right now, I got to take this thing back apart because I got the motors on the wrong sides. So, I'm both in back. But, um, they're all four spinning. I just gotta switch the arms on each side. Pain in the butt. With this is the uh, Cinetank uh, M1 uh, frame. Um, on the Nazi 32, you when you start, you know you're you get, you're at a dead idle. There's no idle. You can go from zero and up. On the Nazi light, you'll be in an idle, which is kind of strange to me. I don't really want it to idle, but uh, I didn't see anywhere where I could change that to get it to where it doesn't idle when you start it up. So you'll have to leave it uh, like that. But anyway, that's how you set it up. And I don't know what that 
ticking noises. Did you guys hear that? That don't sound good. <laughs> so we'll uh, look into that and see what's going on there. Might just be some vibration. Okay, that's it.